Hello, this is Nathan, and welcome to Happy Earth Market Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Natural Awakening, Greater Las Vegas Edition. For all your spiritual needs, just one-stop shop magazine. Uh, New Orleans Square. Uh, Come to New Orleans Square. It's a new emerging spot in Vegas for all of your art and uh, culture needs. You have everything from high-end art down to uh, just learn to make your own art and violins and everything, just culture. Um... We're also sponsored by Diamondback Land Surveying for all your land survey needs. Sponsored by Happy Earth Market, of course. Love through living and bearlanders.com. On this episode, Sam, Nathan, and Dennis sit down and talk about everything from time to bugs that poop up out of uh, antifreeze. Um, we talk about climate change, uh, what doesn't depress Sam, Norwegian billionaires trying to clean up plastic, and, and tons of other stuff. So just... Hope you enjoy the show. It's a short one again. Thank you and enjoy the show. Coming in this podcast at some point is JR. Doubt it. Me too. late. <laughs> I'm sure you heard all the sponsors at the beginning. It's been an amazing month for him in that mm-hmm. respect. A lot of un- unexpected supporters and re, um, renewed supporters. So it's been nice. Nice at Happy Earth Market <laughs> in that respect. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you catch, saying, sometimes babe. you catch the list when you're um tongue. When you're super your... excited and grateful, yeah, you're just fucking stoked. Mm-hmm. No, it's been a, it's mm-hmm. been pretty cool. It's it's been really cool. It's yeah. been like I feel harvest time is coming mm-hmm. for all of us. You reap what you sow, you know. Yeah, not just Happy Earth Market, but all of us that have been doing our work. Mm-hmm. Everyone, you guys and girls, um, you know, I think it's. It's finally time. It's finally all this work that we've been putting into whatever our passion is. It's, you know, it's coming to fruition. You're going to see it. You'll see it. You'll see it. Watch. Mm-hmm. Pay attention. Be grateful. It's going to blossom. Keep watching it. It's going to blossom. Yeah. Build it so, and they will come. Seriously. So like yeah. this week has been pretty, specifically today was weird. Yeah. In yesterday. I don't know. This week has been kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time's funny. But I was That's thinking, where you're going with? Time's well, funny. No, no, but yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you explain better? Um, no, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Why not? Like, you just said time's funny. How is time funny? Like, is there a punchline there or just a premise? No, everybody gets it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, time. <laughs> Ridiculous and shit. We hate it. All of us. That's do. all you got to go up there with on my stand up. You know, time. <laughs> 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 no. I don't. Anyway. Um, I see you made me lose track of what my thoughts, not time. Choo choo. <laughs> what time is it? It is six thirty-five <sighs> in the PM. On I was uh, talking about how we work really hard. Mm-hmm. We and, do. No, but well, you never said and, that. Yeah. And no, time, all of us have been working really time. hard. Yeah, and it's harvest time. It's harvest time. Yeah. And then you said time's funny, and you went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Went off. Dude, what is over there? Is that a squirrel? Squirrel. What squirrel? the fuck what? is that? Oh, it's an actual squirrel. It's super shiny. It's so do you guys metal. believe you guys? Let's. Be, you guys believe in climate change, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's not a thing to be believed in. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that's something that's said, like that you believe in climate change, <laughs> which, it's which, so like, cute. like people that don't oh, believe in God. climate change, so they look at us and go, like, you're one of those climaters. Like just, you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, like you're stupid. You're so mm, dumb. You believe in fake news. <laughs> but have you had a conversation in recent years with somebody who didn't believe in it? I haven't. I've heard comments, mm-hmm. and I don't. I don't pursue conversations. Oh, in you that. you avoid it. You're like, yeah, oh, I'm not. Fuck sure. that. I don't want to talk about that. Like, uh, yeah, I, I'm down with that for sure. What about you, Sam? Mm-hmm. Have, you have. Mm-hmm. I haven't. I, I have not run into a single person that's like, you know what, man? That's just a fucking liberal conspiracy. I just haven't had that experience. 
Mm. You're lucky. Because mm. they're rough. <laughs> they're not nice to be around. And I don't, I like to not, I, I do what Dennis does too. I try to just be like, oh, okay. Well, cool, let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What's your take on plastic in the ocean? Do you, do you like that? <laughs> Weren't you singing read about like a bug today or something that eats plastic? Yeah, man, wax worms. Wax worms. So they um Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Wax worms. No, yeah, wax worms. They're they're looking at them, I guess, to eat plastic. Um something to do with the enzymes. They're like converted into the polyurethane to make it like edible somehow. And they mix it with dead worms. Already grounded up dead worms. So there's that part of it. We have to kill worms to get. But they're already dead worms. What are you supposed to do with them? Well, I mean, I'm sure they're not dead when we put them in there. We probably have to what kill them. What are we putting them in exactly? Plastic. Oh, okay. Like putting them in the plastic piles. Oh, okay. And so like the worms. And they, they eat it and shit it out? Yeah. And the, okay. the larva eats all the, the worms and the plastic at the mm. same time. Nice. Yeah. Sounds like a win-win. And it, the... The can you reuse poop, that soil? The poop is basically antifreeze, which can be repurposed, I guess. Wait, what? <laughs> Look, man, they're still testing it. <laughs> the poop is antifreeze. <laughs> yeah. I heard it tastes delicious. Look, what fucking world are we living in? There's Google fucking... it. I don't know. <laughs> I only half read it, but I did read that, and I was like, oh, well, okay, I guess that's repurposing Wait, it. Is it some kind of superhero it's... worm? Like, so that's its superpower? Thing. It poops antifreeze. Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Pretty just... much. Well, you know what? They use antifreeze in cereal, so who cares? It's multi-purpose. Is that true? Absolutely. They use antifreeze and cereal. Mm -hmm. That can't be true. (laughs) For what purpose? I believe you. I'm just... In fact, I think it's like Kellogg's is the main one that uses uses antifreeze and cereal. What's the the, the purpose? (laughs) It's on some small scale that can't hurt you, right? Antifreeze and cereal. That's super sounding cool, huh? We forgot to cover the table. That's the problem. Oh, it usually gets a little pad. usually gets a pad. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry, well, guys. Whatever. We're unprofessional. We were um, having fun earlier, and so that's why this may sound this way, but that's why it sounds. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> we're fun having people. It's our life. Try it's now or phosphate, never. Something Bon Jovi wrote, and oh, it's this forever. This is the right thing. Huh? Dang it. See, if Nick was here, he'd be able to. Nick Brannigan would be able Because he did a whole, remember he did the whole video on it. No. You don't remember it? Oh, yeah, I do remember. It was a YouTube video. Yeah. You remember YouTube? YouTube. Will YouTube ever go away? Like Facebook no. feels like it's dying. Well, because YouTube's never going to go away because it's the video version of Google. It feels like the end of. It is right. It feels like the end of. Uh, yeah. Feels like the end of MySpace right now on Facebook. <laughs> Pretty much. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm glad there's some kind of exit is happening. How often do you use it now? <laughs> never. Mm. Events only, right? Only. Are yeah. you an event only or you? Mm. Yeah, everybody I talk to anymore is like, oh, just events only. I can't do Facebook anymore. It's fucking. Yeah. Mm, no. I think old people use it. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in that category of old people that use it, though. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. But. <laughs> no, I, I feel like I, think, I, I, feel like I am. Man, you think sure. so? Yeah, totally. Why? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm on there a lot, so I feel like I'm in the category then of old people who use it. I'm over 40, so that makes me an old person. That's true. Right? Um, I mean, accept that shit, man. I do. I've lived, I don't have to listen to your punk ass opinions anymore. I've lived till 40. I'm 40. Like, officially 40. Hey, I'm is what, 40, yeah. Yeah. Officially. I'm an elder. <laughs> at 40, I don't have to listen to anything you have to say yeah. if you're younger than me. Not a word. <laughs> <laughs> you it, don't fucking know shit. It's like a weird no. thing that comes across. Yeah, it's like, oh. But... If you know, you're, your chin goes up and your chest goes out, you kind of cross your arm. And you're like, oh, fuck it. I think so he says all this so. shit, but really he's he listens to more young people these days, and he's hey, I didn't listened say, in his did, whole life. Did you I hear what I said? I said I don't have to. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. Clearly. I am quite okay with walking away from what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's called safe boundaries. You know what? Yeah. Your conversation is not for me anymore. Gotta go. Deuces, enjoy the space. I'm going to walk over here and do some work. (laughs) (laughs) Eh. No? No. I'm not allowed to feel that way. I mean, yeah, but... I don't know. (laughs) 
You can feel however you want. That's clearly the case always with everybody, but... You don't feel that way where you're like, you're okay with exiting conversations now, easier than when you were younger? Oh, totally. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That's it. I don't know. Do you ever know? You always say that. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Well, because the more I think <laughs> about it, like, I'll, I'm stupid. I'll answer real quick without actually thinking. I should do the Barack Obama and go, uh, while I think, but then I don't want to sound stupid. So I don't do that. I go, yeah, no, I don't know, maybe. Just to let you know, let me think about it for a second. Hmm. What were we talking about? No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Hurricane Michael. Well, that yeah, we were kind of we were talking about climate change, so. Well, I thought that's where you were going with it, because oh, like. No. So no, I I had this article uh, I was going to bring up, then it felt real hacky to me to read the to actually read from article, but fuck mm-hmm. it, right? So it's on it's on uh, ideas and it's how to talk to someone who doesn't believe in climate change, right? And so they just give you the ten tips, right? So we'll just skip all the bullshit, like everybody does. Like, do you read the whole tips, or do you just read the headline? Because that's typically just what I do. Just, the just I'm gonna skim it. Yeah. Skim it. Ten I tips. Get the idea. Ten tips. We'll take the bold letters, please, for five hundred. <laughs> 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 so number one is tailor your argument to them. Do not just use the one that worked on you. So what was the one? What was the final tipping point for you to go, fuck, this is real? Or did you always believe it? What are we talking about specifically? Climate change. Climate change. Oh, climate change. <laughs> okay, sorry. Because I was thinking of all the issues. and like, Which one are we talking about? We're talking about climate change right now, babe. I believed it like, as soon as I was mm. taught it in school. Yeah. Like it wasn't a big deal. Did you yeah. in school watch... Um, uh, Al Gore's movie or no no it was before that okay yeah because I remember hearing the word because when I was a kid they called it the greenhouse effect and it was already taught to us yeah. that this is happening because of this too yeah. much carbon in the air so I agree with you like there was never a time like in my whole existence I'm like you oh, know that's fucking bullshit there's no you know what and I mean it just always has been that way and mm-hmm. we're supposed to change and do all these other things and we never mm-hmm. did so yeah they, there was, here we are there was a like a a date Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that date just came and went. Yeah. What was the date when you? Were, there was a date when it was going to be too like hot. Nineteen ninety six. Oh wow, that's hella soon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hella soon. Yeah, ninety six. That's the year I graduated. Fuck, I'm glad that it didn't do nothing. You know. <laughs> so about that hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get back um, to the hurricane. Uh, okay. Okay. Here's number two. Tell them what worries you about climate change. Well, yeah. Well, we didn't. None of us told our story about. Oh, well, all, all I mean, of us, all of us agreed we always believed school. it. Yeah, Which, you know, yeah. All okay. of us agreed we always believed it. So I guess we can go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Tell That's them. good. We'll circle back okay. around. We'll yeah, come. Just make sure I got in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, it. we got it. No idea left behind. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel a T-shirt coming on. <laughs> no idea left behind. Oh, that's you have, like, sweet. You have like an idea that fell out, and you're like this. His other idea soldiers are carrying him. There's always another idea behind you. Can you. you. Oh, it might be. Yeah. What happens if you run out of ideas? Um, tell them what worries you about climate change. Mm, people don't give a shit about that. About what worries you? I don't believe that number two is mm, correct. I think it is because you can't tell them what they should be worried about. That's it's what they're saying is a way to present it. They're just mm-hmm. telling, they're just giving you guidance on how to present it. So, mm. so saying you should be concerned with this rather than I'm concerned with this is much easier to say I'm concerned with it because you're not attacking the person. Mm-hmm. Saying, Fucking, he's a piece of shit. For I still don't you know. think it does any changing of minds though. It might because people know. don't give a shit about how you feel about the earth. People don't care about that. Mm. Deniers, especially, don't care about yeah. the earth. I think deniers are just that. Like I've always thought that, that it's too real of a situation. It gets fucking. It's the realest of the real. If we don't stop, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah it's the. And real, they don't give a yeah. shit. No, I. Let me finish. It's. I don't. I think that a lot of people would rather bury their their head in the sand. It's not that they don't give a shit. Mm. It's just easier for them. To, to digest I, it by burying their head in the sand and denying it. I didn't. I don't agree with that because I'm thinking of like the people who install those, you know, black smog machines in their trucks. 
Oh yeah, those to are purposely. just those well, are no, just assholes. These there. people exist though, and these yeah. people truly do not give a shit. Prius killer. And yeah, you know, and they really they they're living on that whole YOLO kind of mentality, you know, like yeah. fuck it, who cares? Yeah, it's it's ending. Who gives a shit? Let's just blow it up. So, I mean, no, that's a hard you know? that's a hard group of people to get through to, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I By don't. By the time it really goes to shit, Jesus would have already come. So, yeah. yeah. So another way you could I don't do know. it. I think is in to the meantime we'd just be nice and be kind and be loving. Appeal to their uh, basic values, not yours. Mm, so, yeah, mm, that's where I went wrong there. Just. <laughs> that's where you went wrong by telling somebody. <laughs> Appeal to their basic values. So, like if somebody's an outdoors and be like, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like, mm-hmm. or if they're. I don't know what you do. Educate them. Yeah, yeah. Just appeal to their base. Whatever they're passionate about. Like, oh, you know, those national parks you love, they're drilling in them now. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know, that fishing spot you like, it's going to dry up, like, very soon. Mm-hmm. You know, the um, the place you like to go out to the woods and masturbate, like, it's probably going to burn down next year. Because, <laughs> or it'll be fenced off because it's private yeah. property owned by a mining company or something. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, these are things that are happening. So you could just appeal to their basic values. Like, oh, fuck, I didn't know that they're just dumping coal waste into my water like i thought they couldn't do that well they absolutely can and they do so maybe you just appeal to their basic values of trying to you know be passionate with their passion you're not gonna be able to barbecue anymore because the coal you use is just gonna be gone or the well, yeah, charcoal is different but hey at least the charcoal industry is doing well they just gotta go fucking rake it up in um, in california right <laughs> is that how that shit's made charcoal is burnt wood yeah oh sweet <laughs> Well, California is like supposed to burn every couple of years, right? And it has that, my whole life, yeah. But but the, that the, area. the magnitude is way bigger than I remember as a kid. Like there were fires, but like it really had because the wood was so wet, it really had to get out of control to get to what it's getting to now. But now it just does that automatically because mm-hmm. of how dry it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. And the the amount of things we've put up in nature's way, like it's. Impossible, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. From dams to deforestation to polluting its natural ways to like all to building right up next to <clears throat> fucking forests, mm-hmm. right up next, yeah, to building right up next to forests, to building mm-hmm. right on the ocean and covering earth you know with I mean? concrete, mm-hmm. exactly. So it's mm-hmm. just heating up. So mm-hmm. you know, it's definitely getting warm. <laughs> it was the hottest summer I remember. Period. This summer, this summer was fucking mm-hmm. hot all summer, and it and I don't even have to. I don't even have to know that. I, mean, I don't even have to say that's how I feel. Like it's on record of being the hottest rec- summer on record. So we're number one. We're <laughs> number one. Guys, I mean, whatever. I meant to bring shot glasses. Not just not just us. Shit. Everywhere in the country. Oh, yeah. It this was is a, a global it celebration. Was, it was the hottest <laughs> summer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hottest summer for the hottest earth. Hottest summer on record. Mm. That sucks. <laughs> I guess. But Good thing I have editing power. I'm going to fact check that later. No. I think, yeah. <laughs> I just think that, you know, it, it stinks. And we've known about it for a minute. And we've never cared about it enough well, to change it until mm-hmm. all of a sudden right now. And I think now. Dude, that's humanity. <sighs> they do not change until necessary. Right? Yeah. It, look back. Right? Procrastinators, man, we are. We're not going to join World War II. It's fine. <laughs> Big bombs come. <laughs> Germany declares war on us. Now we turn to this massive war machine. You know what I mean? Like we never humanity doesn't react to anything until it's too late. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not too late, but we have like four more years to make like <laughs> to make, <laughs> it's scale the change. To make the biggest change ever. Yeah. And I'm just like blown away yeah. that more people don't care. It just really it's it. It hurts me. I hate, and it's funny because I did go through that whole period of grief where I was experiencing humanity, like people just being complete, ugh, not caring about the earth, and so much so that I grew hatred. You know, like true hatred. St- sometimes it still festers up, like certain things. I'm just like, oh, why do I have to belong to this species? You know, but I couldn't have been a dragon, <laughs> right? Oh, poor dragons. <laughs> poor pet dragons. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, sorry to be depressed. Why couldn't I have been a rock? And, but it's rock. funny, but then I got into the feeling sorry for humanity phase. Like, it's too bad that they don't even see and acknowledge the earth that they belong to, you know? And it's too bad they don't care about the earth 
that yeah. they are. They're earthlings. How 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 did That's that strange. happen? That, I don't. How did that happen? That humanity was able to just do, completely um, this, separate itself from from the earth. It's got to be the strains, man. <laughs> yeah. The as soon as TV was involved. Mm -hmm. That's when it all changed. You might be right. Because, you know, now we're no longer looking at reality. We're looking at falsality. Falsality? Is that a word? I just made it up. It's so a yeah. good word. Though. We yes. knew what it meant. Like, isn't that the rule? Like, if you say it to a group <laughs> of people and they understood what it meant, it's a word. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Falsology. Falsology. New one. No, Webster's Dictionary. Falsality. Yeah, whatever. Like, uh -huh. new, new. non truth <laughs> New, New dictionary word this year. Let me get Webster on the text message. Falsality. So another thing you can do is encourage climate-friendly acts that match what's most important to them. What? So they're saying just encourage environmentalism on what's important to them. So again. The same thing. Yeah. It's what this, we just said. Yeah, just different. Just they different all kind of go on like that. Not like, very creative. Can't think of any new ideas. Let's just change the words. Just change the, the words. last one. Let, that's how Donald Trump speaks too, <laughs> doesn't he? But he doesn't really change the words. Great article. I'm glad you pulled it up and started reading it. <laughs> well, I was just trying to spark a conversation because people are going to listen eventually. Oh, people do listen. Isn't that amazing? People listen. It's neat. Here, I'll give some fun facts fun facts did you guys know sand. that there's a norwegian billionaire who's funding the world's largest yacht to scoop up plastic out of the ocean what mm -hmm. scoop a dupe norwegian is he super blonde and like buff and hot <laughs> is he super norwegian what are you doing there what's all the fucking slamming i don't know i just accidentally pushed the button too hard <laughs> The button anyway, has been pushed. Uh, <laughs> There's no coming the guy back. From actually, the he actually profited from some offshore drilling, and decided I'm going to take some of my money and just pick up some plastic and melt it down and, and make it more oil. Clean up the ocean, probably make more oil. <laughs> it's clean ocean, make more plastic. It's pretty neat. <laughs> but good for him. Yeah. What else? What else tips you got? What else do we got? We got some other stuff here. Um, up, there's a full-time turtle ranger that's been employed by a hotel in Oman. What does that mean? Tur Whoa. Turtle ranger. It means he's in charge of babysitting the turtles on the beach so that tourists don't mess with them. Oh. Mm -hmm. That sucks. That we need that job. I'm glad that the hotel cares enough to have that You're glad employee. the hotel recognize mm -hmm. the come up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Turtle's delicious, though, by the way. What? I don't know. I never Shut had it, up. but I've heard it's tasty. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> the shredder from Ninja Turtles was obsessed with turtle soup. <laughs> That's weird. Is that true? He would always bring it up. I'm going to make you into turtle soup. Uh -oh. <laughs> was he serious, though? Maybe, huh? Yeah. Maybe he was a connoisseur. <laughs> and he just wanted a large portion to feed his, mm. you know, <laughs> restaurant chain. Hmm. Did you have a restaurant chain? Yeah, the Foot Clan uh, had to have uh, a restaurant, a place to eat, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry, this died quick. Jesus uh. Christ! <laughs> we announce oh. when bombs are. Oh, oh dang! So they're not it's even so funny. Dude, Jesus. China has officially started construction on the world's first forest city. What the a fuck is city? a forest city? Yeah, it's, this sounds like a place in Star Wars. It's pretty neat. It actually looks like a place from Star Wars. If you guys, Ewoks, let me turn Ewoks, the screen, Ewoks. you can see it. And for the audience, um, oh come on, pull up. Look at how pretty. For the audience, it's like a bunch of buildings with trees growing. The buildings look like they're built in levels, sort of like uh, like plateaus. Uh, kind of like pyramids, only oh, yeah, yeah. sectioned off pyramids, like half mm. buildings, you know. And they plant trees on each section of it and... On each section of the building? Of the building, on the rooftops. So it's pretty neat. Nice. That's super dope. Yeah. It's a forest city, sorry. Because, forest city. And the reason they're doing it is because the air quality is so bad there that they have to now figure out how to clean the air. Mm. Well, I mean, that's good. That's, so they're, that's good. Yeah, so they're involving so they had trees in their much architecture freedom, now, and now they have to take it back. Right. Mm -hmm. They're also um, <laughs> they're online. They're online. Uh, talk words. So they built they built a gigantic solar plant in the middle of the ocean. 
Oh, really? Yeah, and it just got turned on. It's working. How big is gigantic? Um, well, it's the world's largest, number largest one. Largest solar plant? It's China. Of course, it's, they always do that, don't they? It's funny. Number well, they just, one. That's what number happens when you have one. more money and you know what to do with. Like, uh, oh, man, we just have all the money in the world. We did it. We have all the world's money. Yeah. What do you do after what that? What do we do with all this money? Let's innovate. Um, like, and they just... In 10 square miles. And just, they go, they just gave it to us. 10 square miles? That's gigantic. It's a floating solar panels. It's floating. They're just, yeah, it's huge. Anyway, it's cool. That is cool, but what does it do to the ocean, ocean? below Ocean? That's what I was thinking, the ocean and the birdies that fly around it and stuff. Well, I mean, that's I mean, there's lots of birds, but I'm just wondering what, what it does to the ocean below it. Does it change? Does it... Does it change what's going on below it so that the, the life, the oceans are hurting, birds are fine? I don't know, man. I'm just saying I, I don't know. Then, well, I know that they do cause suffering to birds. No, they totally do. But I don't know if the panels actually do. I know that the ones that blow the light into the things do because those yeah. things get really hot, but the panels don't get hot. Yeah, the water turbines where they use the they use the mirrors to reflect up. At yeah, the thing and those are the really turbine. bad. Yeah, but the, birds, I think the panel really ones, like the ones on people's roofs and stuff, which they is don't what do anything. which is what's floating in China, those kind. It looks like. So um, the birds are okay. I would imagine. I think so. They're probably okay. Yeah, right. Hopefully, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Man. But who knows? You guys heard that uh, avocados aren't vegan, right? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Such a stupid video for anybody. <laughs> didn't look it up just google it it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah, avocados are they're vegan. making these slave bees <laughs> pollinate trees that they would normally pollinate no. <laughs> just so you can have some autocavo autocavo god damn it uh-huh <laughs> you did it again Mm-mm-mm. all right better work on your shit hey. enunciation and stuff we're doing a play uh, soon son this one's really cool you guys are gonna really like this i like this one it's pretty freaking cool Okay, Guinness World Record. Yo. Yo. 12 hours. 1.5 million volunteers. 66 million tra- tra- planted trees. Wow. 66 million. 66 million planted trees. Where was this at? In 12 hours. Oh, damn, dog. We got to break that record. Can you imagine? Where do they plant the trees at? Like, This is in state of Madhya Pradesh. Is that? Yeah. Indian state. Mm. It's in India. Madhya Pradesh. I never think about other countries having states. They got 1.5 million volunteers to come to this. <laughs> wow. Did they really? So like 1.1%. Uh, There's 0.1% of... <laughs> India's population showed up. Yeah. I'm just kidding. They're just big. They're, they're big. Big. They, they, they got agree. lots of people. It's a joke. 12 <laughs> hours, 66 million trees. That's so cool. That's it. Think about it, man. Holy crap. <laughs> I know your that back would hurt so much the next day. Planting 66 trees. Is that how many you had to plant? Yeah, yeah. That, One and a half million volunteers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the no. math completely goes. It'd like, be like let's thirty-three. Say 60. I think it's thirty-three. Thirty-three is still a lot of trees to plant in there. It's not math. Holy. They probably had it. They probably had it like sectioned off. You know, like you like, really have to edit this. People are gonna be like, these guys are stupid. They yeah, don't know right. this easy math problem. Mm. No, we don't. <laughs> We're editing our math out. <laughs> Everybody knows that when you smoke, math is the first thing to go. Yes. Everybody also knows. 44 trees. The bird, bird, bird. Did bird you just actually? Word. Did you actually just do the math? Yeah. No, 44 trees. We were so close. So close. We right, were. right in somewhere in the. I don't know. I think I have said 33. I mean, price, of, yeah. price is right. We didn't win, but you know. Mm. We lost. Suck at things and stuff, right? Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> well, cool, man. Um, France became the first country in Europe to ban all five pesticide-killing bees. Booyakasha. What's cool about that is the pesticides don't just kill bees. They kill everything. Mm-hmm. So it's really cool. That's good. That's really big stuff. What, what country is that again? Big. France. France. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a blanket ban. and fr- uh, France is going further than European Union, which voted to outlaw... The use of three of the neonecticides. 
um, in crop fields during or starting on September 19th. Francis banned these three along with two others, not only outdoor but in greenhouses too. Yay. So it's cool. And yeah. I don't have any other well, cool. earth news, but I mean, we can talk about other stuff. I hate talking yeah. with the screen on. And we funny. decided, remember, we decided last week we're keeping the show short, so we're right at 30 minutes. It's perfect. Oh, right on. It's For perfect. those who like short episodes. Yeah. We got feedback this week from people saying, I really like the length of that episode because I was able to listen to it all the way through on the way to work. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Anybody listening happen feedback to have any, instrumental. any criticism or feedback or. Mm whatever things you really like and want to hear more of whatever just let us know and, and even if you want to hear like less of us but you're still listening tell us why you don't hear us <laughs> <laughs> and if you want us to do some sort of investigating and learn something new you know you're interested in something let us know and we'll look it up and talk about it I mean this is a show for sake of doing a show so we can give it out on Monday so mm-hmm. I had fun I had fun I did too mm-hmm. it's, it's good it's been we've got a few good shows coming up uh, I can't announce anything yet because we're still working on dates. Some good stuff mm-hmm. coming. Well, we can definitely talk about some Happy Earth Market stuff happening. Yeah. Um, obviously, this Monday is uh, Meditation Monday. Uh, and then um, we have this fr- and every Monday. Friday Open every. Mic. And then, uh, but this Saturday is the big thing. It's our uh, third Saturday Bazaar. And uh, we have lots going on. Trunk or treat for the kids. And we have a couple of performers and a food truck and a food vendor and a bunch of really good ethically sourced vendors who um, we have decided uh, ethically to um, ethically and strategically to use less vendors that are more ethical. Does that make sense? Yes. Scale down on the vendors, increase on the quality. Yeah, quality is important too. Quality over quantity. That's what I'm saying, yo. It's quality, mm-hmm. you know. Yo, you know. What Which I mean? I mean, we already do that, but no, I mean that's even like, more. So it's, it's a conscious yeah. decision to more. to not allow every vendor to be. They had they like we were allowing vendors not to follow our code of ethics mostly and still be here. That's done. Like it's you're here, you follow our code of ethics, or we're helping you get there. Like it's either that kind of thing. So it's cool. So that's on Saturday, starts at 5 to 9, and then at the after show is usually a little writer show that you can just watch for free if you're here. So, so it's going to be fun. Peace, mm-hmm. love, all that stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, we're on Happy Earth Market, everything social media. And you can email us at happyearthmarket at gmail.com. Yeah. Happyearthmarket.com. And Twitter.com slash happyearthmarket. Mm-hmm. No T. No T, because it's not too many characters. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, just a quick reminder to everybody listening: um, take a minute. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Take a minute to <laughs> to just um, make a phone call to your fam to to the first person on your contacts list that you give really, really give a shit about. Mm-hmm. At some point in your life, you've really given a shit about. Just text, open the text message thing and just say, hey, thinking of you, I love you. Have a good day. Try that once a day and your life will change and you'll have more gratitude for the people that are in your life because it's important. Yeah. I'll leave it with that. Because they could not be in your life anymore really fast. So have gratitude hold the people in your life sacred love the one you're with mm-hmm. love you guys Hearts. thanks for hanging out with us mm.
gratitude. Hold the people in your life sacred. Love the one you're with. 